Hi, I'm Ryan Dahl, and I'm ambidextrous, and you're watching Ambi. And I'm Todd Kearns. That's it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ryan Dahl. And this is Todd Kearns. We're from the Age of Electric. You're watching Ambi. We're ambidextrous. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to our interview with Age of Electric. Hello. Hello. How, How are you? Sure. How are you both doing today? Excellent. Really good. I just want to say welcome to Toronto and thank you for chatting. Good to be here. It's an exciting time because we are celebrating 20 years of making a pasta pet. Damn. We're always celebrating. Damn, something. does that feel a little crazy to both of you? It does. It's, it, the weird thing about it is that when I talk about it, it feels like a while ago, but it feels more like six years ago, like when I talk about it. Mm. Then you're like, oh, 20 years, that doesn't... I like I mean, how you pick a number. Like, it seems it, like, it, six, it's like it's not six. 10. It doesn't feel like 10 It's kind of like it's, $6 million it's, man. It's, how, it's, how do they pick yeah. that number? Yeah, right? it's right? a very specific number. Do you remember Which when you called Bob Rock $6 million man? <laughs> He yes, got I really did. upset about that. <laughs> yeah, he was not happy about that. He didn't have a sense of humor about that. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's another story entirely. I, I guess wearing, wearing tracksuits That was his 90s. Metallica tracksuit. So yeah, I go, yeah, yeah. I go, you got a tracksuit on, like the $6 million man. And he goes, it's Metallica. I He's like, oh, mad at me. And I'm like, okay, dude. <laughs> it's cooler than just a tracksuit. Cooler than just a tracksuit. Lee Majors is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. On my uh, Bitmoji right now, I have a tracksuit. <laughs> I've got a nice red tra you? track suit. Yeah, everybody loves it. Repping the red track suit. Yeah, yeah, red track suit. I had a red track suit when I was a kid. You did? did because you? of the $6 wow. million dollar man. Oh. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and cool Modi, probably. Cool Modi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When you think back to putting that record together, what are some of the first memories that come to mind? Um, we recorded it at a place called Mushroom Sound in Vancouver, and it was haunted, they claimed. Remember that? Yeah. The thing about it being haunted, and there was a name for the ghost and everything. Did you ever experience that haunted side to the place? Uh, you know, it's a really yes. crazy story one time. I, uh, there was a... Yeti. Yeah, there was a kid that had, uh, I think it was somebody from 54, 50, 40s child or someone had just put a drawing, like a, you know, a full scat piece of paper he'd drawn like a kind of a stick man looking kind of thing. And, and then somebody said, that's actually the ghost. The kid, I guess, drew this. This is the ghost of the Mushroom oh. Studios. And they were like, oh, cool. And they stuck it on the thing. So I took it down to the photo um, photocopier in the office there. Mm -hmm. And it just was a picture of a, of a guy. And when it came out of the photocopier, it said, yek, Y-E-K. -E yeah, -E no way. And it was like, and it freaked me out because I was like, God, I'm not a ghost guy at all. I'm actually the most cynical guy that way. But when it came out, I was like, what? Because it was just a picture of a guy on the side and then this word yak written like a child. You know? And I was like, what? And then when I took the, the original, I, I went into the, I realized that it was written in yellow, so I couldn't actually see the word yak. But when it came through the photocopier, right. it came out, I was like, it really tripped so me out. Wow. Yeah. And I remember saying, we should call the album Yak and have this as our album cover. Oh, yeah, that'd be quite cool. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But we never did. I, I, I think we already had I think Kurt said the yak with that. Yeah, he said, yak. Why did it say Yeti? What is a Yeti? Is that a Yeti is like a s abominable snowman. Oh, okay, yeah. right, right, right. Yeah. But that was the key. that was Matt from 54, the drummer's Yeah, song, I think you're right. Okay. Right? Yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. What a yeah. story. That, yeah, must still, that must still creep you out a little bit just yeah. thinking about it. I used to keep a, a, a diary back then, long before things like blogs, and, I, and I've lost track of it since, but it's probably in stories. But I remember looking back at some stuff on oh, that one time. <laughs> <laughs> But it probably would be really fun to go back and look at that because it's like working titles and weird things like that oh, yeah, that yeah. we would have we worked with and just day-to-day -day minutia, really, of, of studio stuff. Because um, I've always thought of having a nice big burn of some of that. I have, you know, suitcases full of that kind of stuff. I know. I, I have storage units full of garbage and I'm just... But a lot of it's the kind of stuff that I want to... Hold on know, to. Yeah, look at mm -hmm. one day and go, hey, this is interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, to celebrate the record, I made a little game that I wanted to play with both of you. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! You ready? Yeah. All right. So he's at it, go. Is he? Yeah, he's good at games. <laughs> I don't know about that. I guess we'll see right now. Yeah. Well, it's called "I Don't Mind or Exist to Resist." Okay. So if you happen to like the word and what happens to go with the word, then you say "I don't mind." Okay. And if you don't like it, then you say "Exist to Resist." Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, so you can yeah. both say it at the same time. You can learn a lot about your bandmates this way. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna double him whenever he says. <laughs> yeah. All right. Ready? I could fake it out. Exist to mind. <laughs> I don't resist. Sorry, Maybe if you're if you're like teeter tottering, then in the middle. That's that's what you can go with. Yeah. All right. So the first one, hockey. Hockey. I don't mind. I don't mind. Yeah. I live in Las yeah, Vegas hockey. now, and we just got a hockey team like this week. What are they so called? The Las Vegas the Golden Nelf? Knights. Oh, okay. Mm. That's a weird Golden name. Knights. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's a well, bit weird. But apparently, it has a story. Is about it with it. a K or with an, an N? Yeah, with a with a K. Yeah. <laughs> Golden Knights. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's, it's got some story about some sort of actual nights from back in the day uh, in Nevada, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, yeah. So hockey. I don't mind. Hockey. I don't mind. Yeah. Roller coasters. Uh, I don't mind. Exist or resist. You exist or resist? I, yeah. I, I, I'm I, paying to get the I don't, shit scared of I don't personally <laughs> go, but I my kids once in a while want to go, and I can usually survive it. It's not a choice. I like looking at them. I don't mind. Ever since we, we played uh, the near the the mall in Edmonton. Yeah. And those people had died and we I know. We were watching them repair it afterwards for a oh, few it was weeks. Pretty we'd go gnarly, down there every yeah. day and we'd see them like move cars around. I forgot about and that. I just thought who, wait, would, wait who to, would go on there after three people died. Way to bring the interview down. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's always about death. See if we can bring it back up with the next one. Dancing. Dancing? Yes. Danzig? Dancing. Danzig. Dancing. <laughs> oh, dancing I don't mind. Dancing <laughs> exists to resist. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I'm not I used to when I was a kid. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm not much of a Too self conscious yeah. now, you know. Now it's just Michael Jackson impersonations in my room by myself. <laughs> <Yeah>. right, <laughs> terrible moonwalking, <laughs> naked. No one wants to see that. What about karaoke? Um, I don't mind. Lately, I, I've I never done karaoke, but I don't yes, mind. Yes, you have. Have I? Where? Uh, tonight. I'll be <laughs> <laughs> I do it for a living. Uh, whenever we go to our, our parents' house. And That's right. <laughs> Kurt, Kurt would that. sleep in his old bedroom downstairs in the basement, and he had a lock on the door. And Todd would turn on my mom's karaoke machine and put it right beside the door. Go, really? And he'd to always wake him up. Well, it takes a really love great got to do. It takes a really great singer to it. sing just perfectly out of tune. <laughs> yeah. And he'd be like, "Must love got to do." But he'd be like, "Hot love." With the reverb just cranked. And Kurt would be like, "Get out of here!" Still one of the funniest things I've ever heard. That's so funny. Yeah. Tina Turner. But a <laughs> Motion. Yeah. So that seemed to be your go-to song. What Apparently. would yours be? Uh, that's what song? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Um, Brown well, everybody, Wang probably. Chun tonight. Wang Chun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's my credo in life, really. <laughs> oh, some Beastie Boys songs. Uh. So that'd be a good one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I can't stand it. <laughs> I know you planned it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm set straight. This water gate. That's terrible. That'd be a good. Cut terrible. that out. <laughs> I'm keeping that in. Yeah, that was true. that was one of those things where it's so bad it was really really good. <laughs> <laughs> we were like uh, white guys impersonating white guys, making it sound even more white. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I appreciate you taking part in that game, guys. Oh, thank you. Oh, that oh, was a lot good. of fun. That's okay, it. Cool. That was a blast. Now we're on to the next, which is an, it's an exciting time for you because you have an EP coming out. Well, I'm really glad that you shared keys. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I love that track, and it's so okay. optimistic. So when you were going into writing it, what kind of made you want to put that spin on one of the first songs people are going to hear in a very long time? Well, we don't really think like that. We just, you know, like when we get together and we're writing something, then, you know, we come up with some kind of angle or some kind of lyric that... So we don't really think, hey, what are we going to do? You know, I, I guess we've never been that kind of a band or kind of writers. I, You know, we've always yeah. known that we should probably be more... Well, a lot of the lyrics I remember strategic. coming from, like, some more conversations about, I mean... I think there's a certain amount of like looking into it. I don't. I try not to draw. I think you're the same way. I try not to draw too many like, this is what this song's about or whatever. But a lot of that sitting on a gold mine was, you know, was sort of like we should, you know, try and make music together because it's sort of like you know you have the you dynamic know, and exactly. the parts and the to make it work. Exactly. And the ignition is a very forward thinking and you know I guess maybe powerful message to say. Mm -hmm. um, but it, you know, it's just it's one of those songs that I, I knew from the very very early on that it was pretty special. You know? It's always good when a lyric kind of sticks with you. You know, it's mm -hmm. one thing when a, like a, a riff or some some kind of melody sticks with you, but it's another thing when a lyric sticks with you. Then it's kind of more meaningful, I think. Absolutely. So, yeah. And with that song, it was these, and I think that those three songs kind of the, we haven't released two of them yet, but those three original songs that we started mm -hmm. uh, re like writing 12 years ago kind mm -hmm. of made us want to do something again. You know? yeah. I think if we didn't have new music, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have been interesting to us. It mm -hmm. wouldn't have been something like, hey, let's go cash in on our, no. you know, our past. It wasn't <laughs> really about that. It's more like, hey, we got these songs and it seems like there's a little bit of life left in this for us. Yeah. You know? so I think if it had see. not gone positively, if we had not really been happy with the results I think that might have been the deciding factor but I think from the very beginning of this particular chapter we we knew right away that it was you know wow well, I felt pretty excited about it I, there's something to do here yeah absolutely so, yeah. something to, a so little thread it. to keep pulling on yeah <laughs> yeah so we're keep we're still pulling <laughs> we're still pulling we're glad that you're still, still pulling. pulling that's the name still of the pulling. Still pulling. <laughs> still pulling sounds offensive it's like a big tow truck on the front <laughs> still, still pulling, pulling. Woo! 
But this show in Toronto is your first show here in about two decades. A lot of these songs you haven't played in about 25 years because when you're a band and you decide to put out more material, you always end up playing the newer stuff. Right, exactly, so did yeah. you discover any gems when you were re-looking through everything? You're like, nope. oh, I might have forgotten about that. <laughs> yeah, <I'm still laughs> nope, I'm nothing, nothing it. there. Uh, I think we're still finding gems, aren't you? I always kind of go back. I think I'm more like that kind of guy where I go back and dig around and go, hey, this is cool, this is cool. But yeah. I think a lot of it would be very sort of... Um, self-indulgent to dig that deep personally. Well, those songs that we wanted to do that we just didn't really get around to accomplishing. That's the cool thing about it is it's not like we're not just doing this one show and that's it. It's going to be a lot of shows down the line. So we can start so digging around. So there are more in. that we want to dig into, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's awesome. What do you want? <laughs> 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 well, let's wrap things up. I want to bring it to the fans. Anything you want to leave with all of those who will be viewing the interview? Um, like... Parting, parting, parting words. Parting, parting words. Parting words. Um, keep it real. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think honestly, there's you know we have a the 20th anniversary CD comes out. Well, it's the record comes out with four unreleased tracks, and then there's gonna be four brand new tracks. So it's like onward and upward music. Yeah. So we had we had the I had the master tapes in my studio for the last record, and so I took them to another studio and had them uh, baked. And yeah, then, like actual. And we yeah. had four Which songs that we hadn't released because we kind of hadn't finished the arrangements, and there was, you know, a few rough things about them, so we kind of chopped them up a bit and, and mixed them, and so there's four other songs, and now they sound like now with the better arrangements and little fixes and things, like just a it's guitar part really here strong. or whatever. Those songs. They sound like they're great, maybe yeah. better than some of the other songs in the I record. Think so. Really? Yeah, I'm pretty so yeah, so about eight that, new yeah. songs altogether. So. Yeah, that's exciting. Yeah. It's very exciting. I'm very excited for it to come out. Cool. Awesome. I just want to thank say you. Thank you very much for chatting today, guys. Yeah, thank for you. Us and congratulations on all your, all the great interviews you've been doing. Thank it's you awesome. so much. Yeah. You. yeah. Thank you. And remember to everybody viewing, you can visit us at musicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite bands. We'll see you next time. What's love got to do? Got to do with it. What's love but a second hand? <laughs>